What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Dylan, and today I'm here to get a bonus credit for my English class. <clears throat> I mean, teach you guys how to become amazing podcasters. In this video, I'm going to go over two main things. I'm going to go over the how-to. That means how to record, how to come up with your ideas, how to structure your ideas, and finally, how to edit and produce your podcast. And the second thing I'm going to cover is the questions that you guys sent to my Instagram. But first, let's change into something a little bit more comfortable. Now before we begin today's video, I'd like to give a special thank you to today's sponsor, My English Class. To hear more about them, stick around till the end of today's episode. Now with all that out of the way, let's talk podcast. First thing you have to do is you have to come up with an idea. Duh, right? Well, no, it's not as simple as it sounds. Coming up with an idea that you can talk about fluently for two to three minutes or however long the assignment is, is more challenging than you'd think. You have to find something that there's plenty of information on, maybe you have an opinion on, and that's why I would say find something that you're comfortable talking about, maybe that you're passionate about, like a hobby, or something you just know a lot about, like frogs, for example. Because if you know a lot about frogs, you're going to be able to talk about frogs for a longer period of time uninterrupted and just it'll flow so the second step once you have your idea is to write some kind of script and the way that i usually do this is i have two rules for this use pen and paper as well as do multiple drafts the reason i say use pen and paper first of all is because once you're writing you'll have the muscle memory of using a pen on paper it'll stick in your head and when you don't remember what you were going to say when you're recording your brain will somehow just be like, hey, I remember something about this, and it'll just work. And now the other thing is the reason I say use bullet points is because if you have a script that's laid out word for word in like a perfect structure, sure, it will probably flow a little bit easier. But in my opinion, when you have bullet points and you kind of flow from those bullet points, it's a lot easier to... It's a lot easier to listen to because there's pauses where you stop to... You have to stop and think. You have to pause and like plan what you're going to say before it just spews out your mouth and it makes it feel more organic and nicer to listen to. And that's also where like funny things happen. You'll make a joke that you didn't write in because if you have everything structured, it'll sound like you're reading and it won't convey the proper emotions. It'll just feel like you're reading and it will feel like it'll feel like a pain to listen to. So now that you have all of your ideas mapped out in your handy dandy notebook, in your handy dandy notebook, it's time to start recording and uh, there's multiple ways you can do this but the way that I've found works the best for me and is the best way that I've used I've used a bunch of different methods is recording with your laptop and a program called audacity audacity is free I'll leave the download link down below and I guess if I'm going to recommend it I should probably give some kind of tutorial so here's that get ready for a crash course hang on to your hats people Okay, and so here is our crash course for learning how to uh, just do stuff in Audacity. So first of all, uh, got to make sure that our microphone and output are what we want. In this case, I'm using the condenser mic, so it's the USB one. Uh, speakers, headphones, the headphones I'm wearing, what we want, and click to start monitoring. Make sure you never enter the red zone like that just did. And uh, yeah, so first... To record, you just click this big red button, you start recording, and there's our sample recordings. It's doing exactly what it should, and when you're done, you click this black square here. Okay, so now the most important tool is this one right here. It looks like the little eye in the top corner. This one and this one. So this one, you can move stuff around, say you wanted to move it and add theme music or something like that. Uh, selection tool, this is the most important. So you can see we have this weird silence in the middle right here. What we're going to do is we don't want that. We're going to select it. So you click and drag, and then we're going to delete it. So you just tap the backspace button on your keyboard like so. And say I wanted to trim this last syllable off, the same thing. You can do it at both the beginning and end and trim like such. So you can trim your audio like that. And to get rid of it, you just select everything like that. And okay, so now say we wanted to add some theme music. What we would do is we would have a recording, recording, blah, 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 podcast stuff, talking, talking, 
you know all that and now we're going to stop and now we're going to keep talking as though the intro is past k okay. so you see here how there's this little gap where we stop talking that's where our intro is going to go so we go up here we go to file and we go to import and we go to audio which should open this menu and from this menu let's go with that i downloaded this the other day for another video okay so there's our song and it will open on the track below see and as we can see our audio on the bottom is vastly larger than our audio on top so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like that and just get rid of most of it and we're only gonna keep what we need and as this is just like a tutorial type thing i'm not super concerned about quality of the final product okay so there we're zoomed in and we'll go back to this tool that i mentioned earlier and move over this sound chunk and we only need a little bit of it so we are going to go select same thing as before and backspace and that moved it a little bit going to take a tiny bit more off and last but not least move it to where we want it and so then once you do that you can just click here and recording, it'll start playing recording, blah, blah. So all you have to do is click on the have timeline where you want it to start playing, and it will. So now that we have our little video podcast sound thing, what we will do now is you go to the top corner, and we want to make it into an MP3 file, like a song or whatever you used to have on your old iPod, that kind of thing. So we go to export, export as MP3, and this little screen will pop up, and we will call it example, like so save and then this pops up you don't have to fill any of this out but i usually do uh yeah you can fill that out so when you're listening to the podcast it'll show your name as the artist name the track title that would be like your title and yeah you can fill all that out but it's it's not necessary but you can and we go okay and we wait for audacity to do its thing and just like that as promised we have our thing right here it says example and this is the yeah okay so gonna open that up and Two is we would have a recording recording it works under example here if you filled out that like spreadsheet looking thing with the artist name and stuff that would all appear here when you're playing the video or the audio later on on someone else's computer the next most important thing is the sound and like the physical environment that you record your podcast in you could, like, just put in a minimal effort and be sitting at your kitchen table, but chances are it's going to be a little bit echoey and you're going to hear your words bouncing off the walls, and it's not going to be as good. You could be the most interesting person in the world, and no one's ever going to listen to you if you sound like someone riding a mule through a hailstorm. Nobody wants to listen to that. So, what I would recommend that you do is you found an, find an environment that has been acoustically treated in some way. Chances are you don't have a sound booth in your home. You might have some sound foam like I have behind me, but most likely not. So what I would recommend instead is go into your closet and close the door. There's curtains hanging in there, or clothes, not curtains. There's clothes hanging in there and they sound... It'll, it'll deaden the sound. It'll make the whole environment sound better. It'll be like your own mini sound booth kind of thing. So I would recommend recording in a closet or somewhere where there's like hanging clothes or just in your room, but find a super quiet environment because that will make your podcast so much better to listen to. And the other thing that I would recommend is if you have a fan going or anything like that, just shut it off. Be in the quietest environment possible so the main focus is your voice and not some background noise. And last of all for this uh, like environment, this whole category, I would recommend not using your laptop microphone. It will not sound as good as you think. Trust me, it you can't, you can't do that. And I'm not expecting you to go out and buy a condenser mic like I did because this is a one-time thing for an English class. So what I would recommend instead is just use the microphone you already have. Use those like Apple ear pods or whatever they're called. I thought I had a pair. Whatever. Just everyone had them. They came with a whole bunch of phones. You probably have a pair somewhere. And the mic is actually pretty good. But just two things with that microphone is don't fidget with it and like don't move around a whole lot. Because if you're fidgeting with it and like moving around and it's brushing against your collar, 
you're going to hear it and it's going to sound not as good as you would like. It's not going to sound good because you're going to hear your clothes even. And the second thing is, I don't know why it's become a habit, but when people have those earbuds, they always grab the thing where the mic is and they always hold it really close to their mouth. Don't do that. If Apple wanted the mic in front of your mouth, they would have designed some way to put it in front of your mouth. They wanted it here because this is where it sounded good. It's designed to be there. So just leave it there. Just forget about it and just do your podcast, but don't fidget with it. It will sound so bad. Last but not least, we have our question period. I was going through the Q&As that you guys sent to my Instagram, uh, whether that be commenting on that one post I put out or responding to my story or just DMing me in general, questions about how to make a podcast. I feel like what I've done so far has kind of covered kind of covered a lot of them, but there was a, a wide range, and here were two of the ones that I... Uh, thought were kind of interesting. The first one was, outside of the assignment for English class, would you recommend starting a podcast? Yes and no. I would recommend starting a podcast if you like to hear yourself talk, which I do. I talk so much. Um, My parents would tell you that as well. Uh, (laughs) I like to talk, and I like to hear myself talk, and I think that I, I don't know, I feel like what I have to say is interesting, so I thought I would share it with the world. If you don't enjoy hearing yourself talk and you're more of a shy person, then I probably wouldn't recommend it because you're going to spend a lot of the time being uncomfortable and not enjoying yourself because a lot of it is hearing yourself talk, especially during the edit. You're just going to be listening to your own voice. And if you don't enjoy that, then I can't recommend that to you. And the second second question that I actually got a fair bit was, uh, it doesn't seem like start... This is just paraphrasing. Uh, I got a bunch of different versions of it, but making a podcast doesn't seem like that much work. What's the big deal? Or like, why is it taking you so long to put out videos? It is, and it isn't a lot of work. If you just want to record the sound and put it on YouTube as just the sound, then yeah, it'll take some work. But if you're going to do what I'm doing, where I have the video and I have all that, it's more work because you have your camera, you have to uh, sync up your camera and your sound, and you have to way more editing, way more effort. It's it's more difficult. And not only that, you have to physically feel good about yourself to put yourself in front of a camera. And from personal experience, there are days where I know I don't look good, and I don't. Like, I'm wearing sweatpants and a baggy hoodie. Well, I am right now. <laughs> but there are days where I don't feel good and don't feel like putting myself in front of a camera. So, in answer to that question... It is a lot of work, and what's the big deal? I'm still a student, right? Like, sometimes I just can't make podcasts. But, yeah, it is a lot of work, but I would still recommend it to those that like hearing themselves talk. Um, Yeah, and just like that, that's pretty much everything I'd wanted to cover with this video. I hope that it at least helped set you guys in the right direction for making your own podcasts and setting you up for success with this English assignment. So good luck and goodbye and see you in the next one.